Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Leos, you are up, so this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, Leo, Cusp Babies, North Node, got it to this video, and you don't have Leo in your chart, and not dealing with anybody that has Leo in their chart, Cross Watchers that's dealing with somebody that has Leo in their chart, of course, there's going to be messages in this video for you too, North Node. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my reading. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go directly to the beginning of the reading. If you're pressed on time, if you don't want to hear me talk. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do have is clear audience. So I do have music in the background. I have um, going is the today's R&B and old school radio what's on right now is carl thomas i wish okay so whatever your songs that you hear during any of my readings can be very significant as well as any songs that you hear recurring over and over and over and over if it makes you think about a certain person as far as a feminine and masculine energy that could be very significant when it comes to y'all's journey that could be messages from their higher self you know giving you and relaying you certain messages that their 3d body which is our physical reality is not expressing to you okay um that's one reason why music is controlled so much when it comes to you know the entertainment business as far as movies you know everything that they give us that has sound uh visual um symbols um symbolic symbols and so on okay um so if you're new to my channel welcome if you have been here welcome from uh welcome for being if you welcome for being here if you're new to my channel thank you for being here if you have been here for a while thank you for supporting me as well welcome y'all um thank y'all for all the comments all the appreciations all the email in july i will be pack picking back up on certain things as far as when it comes to my emails man y'all don't know i have like over 500 emails that I have not touched just so y'all know how busy I have been outside of working with the community getting certain things that's together for my big event tomorrow I'm gonna have my first speech in my hometown where I'm speaking about my spiritual awakening about the things that's going on in the world you know getting my people that I know that where I from represent Texas born and raised uh, San Angelo Texas which is an Indian reservation I'm gonna bring that you know to um, aware enlightenment to a lot of people that's gonna be coming and watching me speak so it's very exciting for me and I just want to say thank y'all if it was not for y'all um, to help me build my strength I am a Leo rising so for me to take part of that energy and stand up and do the things that I know that I was destined to be I know that the Leo influence of me of being my rising sign which is how everybody else sees me um, I had to really understand the energies that I possess in my bodies and once you do that you become the magician you become you know the alchemist you become you know the highest priestess the highest priest and I keep telling everybody that a lot of people don't know that they're already an emperor and em energy emperor and and in Empress energy is just that a lot of it is manipulated and again one thing that helps um, cover up a lot of things is mercury retrograde and that's happening that started on the 18th all the way until the July the 17th and again remember it's two weeks um, after that where that energy completely clears out and that's when they harness the energy from the pyramids your past comes back um, resurfaced either to help you delay you um, bring conflicts 
people from your soul tribe to come in that's new um old as well that's familiar to assist you with them with any type of trials and tribulations that you have during mercury retrograde okay so that's typically when x comes back there's a lot of competition that's going on in 3d realm as well as physical um the physical realm and then also the 5d realms um, the, the spiritual realms, because a lot of us are going through Phoenix rising battles, especially if you're Unnaki, if you're Ra's bloodline, if you know that you have indigenous blood in you, a lot of us are going through, a, a lot of us are going through the spiritual um, battles right now because of our DNA activations and also, you know, getting our souls to the next phase of our evolution. <clears throat> So if you wake up tired, um, you know, exhausted, even if you sleep again, seven, eight hours and your body is just tired and your mind is, you know, been somewhere else, you could have been somebody that was battling or your masculine, your feminine could be battling as well. Because again, you pull their energy and um, of their soul and their spirit. Um, I did see the five of wands card in this deck. I did see the spider card and um, the otter card, which is the otter card, represents my twin flame, twin ray, divine partner, light partner um, card in this deck, okay? Um, so that could be very significant. Some of y'all could be in a spider web, again, competition, um, certain get things getting revealed as far as people and friends and family members, lovers um, that's in your environment that possibly could either be a black widow or, again, you could be attached to certain things that have you, you know, in standstill that's a web, that's a this invisible web when it comes to delays um, of our confidence and so on so we're going to see exactly what that spider the otter and that five of wands is coming up in this reading for okay so i it, i'm just saying that um also cuss babies i'm including you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime so if you're a cuss baby that means that you are trying to harness both of those energies before you pass over in this lifetime so if i state your date of birth that means that you are a cuss baby if i don't state your date of birth that means that you are a regular um leo when it comes to your sun sign so leo slash virgo august the 19th or august the 25th leo slash virgo august the 19th or august the 25th um and then Cancer slash Leo, excuse me, July the 19th or July the 25th. Cancer slash Leo, July the 19th or July the 25th. Um, as far as cuss babies. North Node, I'm including you in my readings because your North Node represents your past life karma and the karma in this lifetime. So it represents both. So since you are... Um, Awakening up to this great awakening, we all are going through DNA activations. That's very significant during Mercury retrograde as far as that's one reason why it happens three times a year. That's also when they harness the energy from the pyramids and use it to negatively affect your air energies as well as your fire energies and the air and fire signs. Um, if you have fire, that's the Unnaki. The four elements represents species as far as alien species. Fire is the Anaki. Air is the Mantises. Water is the Palladians. And um, Earth is the Reptilians and the Greys mixture. Okay. And then they could also have Anaki mixture because those were the two, three that was here first before the Mantises and the Palladians arrived. Okay. So um, finding out what you have in your birth chart also what your ancestors and your higher self have been leading you to educate yourself or revealing you who you are your soul spirit has always been um and again we are all waking up to this 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 something that's very exciting to take part of okay um so again the cards have already been shuffled leos we're gonna go ahead and get started it is uh going into uh cancer it's cancer season so again cusp babies between gemini and cancers um water energy we also again mercury retrograde is in cancer okay um so just make sure you pay, protect your energy as far as your emotions um we also had that full moon um in Sagittarius which was the the beginning of the the Phoenix rising I won't say the beginning because some of them took part of that the end of May but the big mass beginning of the fire um the Phoenix the Phoenix rising battles if you have Anaki bloodline in you okay and the majority of us do okay um but a lot of us have it more than a lot of other people but the majority of us do um okay in order for you to be a human being okay um there is decoys, there's other species that have also um, surpassed their evolution to allow certain other, you know, species to be able to exist 
as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The cards that I use in my videos have already been shuffled. The main deck, we're going to cut and shuffle them on camera. Excuse the noise. Every time I want to do a reading, I'm always distracted. There's this trash fans going out right now. Um, so the main deck will cut and shuffle. The other cards have already been shuffled in your energy. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, they're also listed in the description box of the video. Um, I also have energy healing, crystal stones, different things like that for your enlightenment, your growth. Um, also, uh... Uh, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you. The song that's on right now is Love Again by Daniel Caesar and Brandy. Even though you can't hear it because of the trash. Okay. I apologize again. Distractions. Mercury retrograde bullshit already happening. Okay. Um, again, Mercury retrograde, that's typically when your exes come back. So that five of wands could represent competition. So there could be sitting competition for you, Leos, or your masculine, your feminines, um, in the spiritual realm, as well as in the 3D. So make sure that you stay cautious when people approach you, stating they're attracted to you. Some of them could have be, had, you know, won a spiritual battle against your masculine, your feminine, if they're not doing the right things as far as when it comes to their journey. Um, as well. So there could be past lovers that are approaching you because again, um, everybody now is taking part of this divine feminine, divine masculine um, journey that we've been on so long ago since the pyramid days. And people don't understand how long we've been as souls and spirits recur re recurring over and over and over and over and living different lifetimes and um, how that affects when it comes to your soulmate, twin flame, twin rage, divine partner, life partner, um, so so make journeys okay and that's the reason that otter card is out because again a lot of y'all are on these journeys and y'all are chosen people from your high from your ancestors to be part of that journey your universe to be part of that journey because it pushes so much change okay so if you are a part of that don't deny that because that also um you're using your free will and people don't understand what free will is and it's been used negatively um and manipulated as far as when it comes to us involving as human beings so it's all you know in the matrix okay y'all watch i had saw something about prince and there was a little video that he did at like a yahoo reward thing and he was like um make sure y'all you know don't get you know too caught up in on social media and the internet he was like y'all saw the matrix you know don't let, you know, don't let the internet, you know, teach you. He, he says something like that. I have to go back and, and do it. But it was just crazy when he said, he said, y'all saw the Matrix. And I was just like, oh my good, I love you, Prince. And rest in peace. And I know they took you out because he was, his last album was about the pharaohs, about who we were as Manelan people in the United States and how it originated here and not in Africa. So they took his ass out because again, the celebrities have a lot of power when it comes to influencing the mass and changing vibrations at a fast, rapid rate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the cards have already been shuffled. The other cards, we're going to shuffle these. So again, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and Mercury, North Node, Cusp Babies, Cross Watchers. Got it to this video if you don't have Leo in your chart or not dealing with anybody that has Leo in their chart. Just Friends by Music Soul Child. So you will probably want to be, you know, see somebody that's a friend and you want to be more than friends with a person, Leo are um your masculine your feminine possibly could be seeing you as a friend and they want to be more than friends what you do to me okay so i'm going to shuffle it uh three more times that the next time what's ever at the bottom of the deck i'm going to take it as part of your energy leos we have the nine of swords so this represents energy it's better when it's reversed this represents energy as somebody learning a lesson okay um but when it's reversed it's inner energy when it's upright this represents you know you sleeping you know you up at night you worrying you denouting yourself you're denouting a connection between your masculine your feminine or this could have been your masculine your feminine feeling this way somebody feeling left but abandoned betrayal happening you know loss 
a mental, you know, space as far as when it comes to your thoughts, okay? Feeling like you're not worthy, questioning why did this happen this way? Why did I do this? Why did they do this way? Why did they leave me feeling this way? You know, why is he denying me or why is she denying the connection? You know, does she not feel, you know, the emotions are, you know, that I have for them? You know, that's what you're up at night doing, okay? This also represents energy as far as you're not sleeping. I can sleep. I love when this card comes out because that's my song automatically. I can't sleep, babe. <laughs> I can't think, babe. Okay. But when it's reversed, that means that all that mental conflict is going away. So somebody is out of feeling, you know, left abandoned. Some of y'all could be feeling like, you know, in the past, this person could have felt made you feel left abandoned. Again, this also represents energy as far as realizing a karmic relationship. So let's say if somebody did find out that they were in a karmic relationship, there could be an ending to a situation as far as when it comes to somebody that's not, you know, your divine feminine and your divine masculine as well. But things are getting better. Somebody's coming in and asking for forgiveness after they made you feel this way okay so that's what it means when it's reversed okay so let's keep going the song that's on now is on and on we have damn this card keeps coming out we have the seven of pentacles coming out again this card just came out for my Scorpio reading, it came out for other readings as well, but planting their seeds. So again, this person feels like they have already invested in the relationship. Or Leos, you feel that you have already invested in a relationship with your masculine, your feminine. This represents energy as far as skills. So let's say if this is a job, a project, anything that you're doing, um, even the relationship or even working on yourself, you're planting those necessary seeds in order for it to be successful. So this makes sure you, let's say if it is a project, if this is your career, if this is what you working on, on your confidence with yourself with it being a pinnacle card an earth card um it's you doing the things that you need to do putting in the necessary work um to make sure again um your project your career it's successful okay not making sure you're going back you're you're watering your grass when you need to water your grass you're you know you're harvesting it to a full harvest, um, planting the seeds, making sure that the, the ideas that you're getting, you're planting those seeds at this time, Leos. So I feel that a lot of y'all are, you know, accomplishing a lot of things. Let's say if there was certain things that you planted in the past, and if as far as a career or a project, things now could be coming to the surface where you're seeing things becoming successful. Those ideas that you planted in the past are now sprouting, okay? They're now growing, okay? They're now, um, it's not full harvest, but I just feel that things are changing when it comes to things that you planted in the past, okay? Is what I'm hearing. You have the six of cups card you talking about a past card so this represents again energy as far as a soul connection as well so how i said earlier let's say if there was any of y'all that dealt with a karmic that was from your past this could be a past lover this could be a past childhood lover it could be a past um, you know, it could be in the mother of the child, the father of the child, because again, you have the seven of pentacles here as far as planting a seed. So this could be, and then you have this child on this card. So this, some of y'all could have been loyal to, let's say a past relationship, a karmic situation, a karmic soulmate. Um, because again, that card was reversed, the nine of, um, swords being reversed. I do feel like I said, somebody, some of y'all are going to be ending a relationship. Let's say if you are finding out that this is not a true commitment, they're not your divine feminine, divine masculine. Some of them could have met this person in their past or they were involved with this person, you know, on and off. Okay. Um, I do feel, let's say if this is somebody, let's say if this is your masculine, your feminine, this person is rem reminiscing about the relationship or this is you, Leos, you're reminiscing about the relationship as far as when it comes to your masculine, your feminine. They are in their head as far as when it comes to their thoughts, they're re you know, covering, replaying their, their, their tracks as far as when it comes to the situation between you and them. And some of them could be, again, since they're going down this memory lane, nostalgia mode, they're realizing they already invested time, energy into this relationship and they you know it's it's something there in order to start a brand new beginning is is what i'm hearing so some of y'all could have been it could be again somebody from your past that could be resurfacing with that five of wands that's coming so i do feel that some of y'all possibly do have like i said if you have two situations going on you could be you know trying to you know involve a certain relationship with somebody that you're dealing with now and there could be somebody that's from your past 
that feels that they already invested in you and, and they're wanting to come back, okay? This person is very nostalgic right now, okay? You have the two of wands being reversed. So this represents energy as far as battling. It also represents energy as far as, you know, when it's upright, Tonight, best you ever had by John Legend. When it's upright, this represents partnerships. This represents energy as far as working as a team, you know, coming together, um, wanting to be a, build a partnership. When it's reversed, this person is not doing that. So let's say if this is a person that you are involved with, Leo, like I said earlier, somebody is realizing the shoe is on the other foot. If they were the one that caused you to feel like that, you know, you didn't mean anything to them or the connection was not real that you and them had, um, this person now knows that, again, they made you feel left abandoned. They were not putting in the energy and the time that they needed to put in in order to bring a successful partnership, okay? Some of them, like I said, feels that even though that they didn't spend the time and the energy, there's still something there to, how can I say there's still something there between you and this person that can sprout into a brand new beginning. They just need to put in the necessary time and energy that they were not putting in before is what I'm getting. Yeah, the three of swords because this person knows that they brought heartache to you. There was a lot of confusion. Some of y'all were in third party situations. Again, it could have been the mother of the child, the father of the child, somebody that they dealt with for a long time. You know, um, as far as them going back and forth with, some of them could have had issues as far as when it comes to their childhood that they were trying to overcome when the three of swords comes out as well. So a lot of them were damaged. They know that they left you feeling a damage as far as when it comes to, you know, your heart space as well is what I'm getting. So this person, I feel that some of y'all are overcoming heartache, okay? And y'all know that this person, again, was battling if there was battles as far as when it comes to other suitors other um and if it was not other suitors it could have been family friends um you know their money that they could have been putting time in or again are they not healing their self the right way so they can be in this partnership with you okay um but i feel that this some of y'all a lot of y'all are overcoming pain y'all are overcoming this heartache um that this person you know brought to you or again if there's a so, and y'all know I read, again, I keep saying this in my, and I keep saying again, I'm trying to stay away from the again, but again, that's just me talking. I said it again. <laughs> I said it again. Now, if this person is involved with the karmic or karmic soulmate, they're no longer wanting to be um, together with this person. Somebody could have also got cheated on. So the karmic soulmate or the karmic could have cheated on you Leos are your masculine, your feminine. Okay. And there could be heartache that some of them are experiencing from that as well. You have the King of Swords. Yeah, because there was a manipulation that was going to evolve. When you have the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords, that's definitely somebody that mind fucks you. They, they mentally, you know, manipulate you mentally. This person knows how to use their words. They know what to say in order to get what they want to cause a person to do what they need to do. Some of them, again, could have been saying certain bad things about you, Leo. Or there could have been, again, family, friends, a karmic situation that was saying bad things about your masculine, your feminine. Um, or two, again your masculine, your feminine, the karmic was saying bad things about you. Um, I do feel that some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was a narcissist and this could have been a, mo a mother, a child, the father, a child that could have been somebody that is a narcissist. This person does not know how to communicate. They are also verbally abusive, mentally abusive as well. So they know exactly what to say. They know exactly what to do in, in order to keep you stuck. Okay. You have the tower card and some of y'all again are over this person's mental bullshit. Okay. Um, the tower card, when it's reversed, this is better. This represents energy as far as things changing. When it's upright, it's a major shakeup. It's a sudden shock. Um, again, it's an ending separation. When it's reversed, this means that again you're recovering from you know that tower moment. You're recovering from that that heartache. And I told y'all a lot of y'all are recovering from the heartache and pain that this person puts you in. A lot of y'all are like you know um, you had to start brand new. A lot of y'all had to start brand new as far as when it comes to your mental space, as well as healing your heart chakras. I feel that it could have been a long time for you to heal your heart chakra. Some of y'all could have been still damaged from, again, child wounds or child relationships that was causing you not to love, you know, your mass and your feminine. And now are the person that you have these, you know, hopes that you want to start this brand new beginning with because you were not healing yourself from past relationships is what I'm hearing. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So if this is a relationship, let's say if they are dealing with this karma, this karmic soulmate, there was manipulation when it comes to sex. 
Um, again, there was somebody finding out that somebody cheated on them, okay? I feel that this person is no longer wanting to put in the time and the energy into this relationship again because somebody's finding out that they their, their person stepped out on them. When you have the wand cards, when those are reversed, that represents sexuality. That also represents like player energy. Um, this also represents energy as far as being controlling. So somebody was bestly, definitely with somebody that was very controlling, very manipulative. Um, when you have the King of Swords, this represents energy as far as Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. You have the Tower card, which represents more fire. Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. It also represents Scorpio. And then you have fire, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. So some of y'all could be dealing a relationship with a, an air sign, a, a fire sign, or a Scorpio um, could be um, ending a relationship. Or these could be somebody that's from your past that did this to you. And they had a hard time, like I said, with healing their heart chakra from past childhood wounds. Okay. Or... Again, they were involved with the mother of their child, the father of their child, or somebody that was from their past that was an in and on and off relationship, you know, on and off, on and off, on and off. And I feel that there was cheating involved both ways when it comes to them and this person, okay? Um, you have the sun card. Yeah, look, more fire energy being reversed. This also represents your card as well, Leo's. So Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius, um, it also represents Leo. So again, passioning, burning down. Somebody definitely was cheating, and this is a sudden shock. Somebody possibly got caught cheating physically in action, watching cheating, you know, catching their karmic or soulmate in action, having sex with somebody else, and it's going to be a fight that's going to break down. Wow. Somebody's going to walk in on somebody having sex, and that's going to be that tower moment. The song that's on right now is Steady Love by India Ire, and that's I love that song, especially when it comes to feminine and masculine energy and how David Banner had the, the bracelets on. I told you some of them are already knowing what's you know needs to take place as far as when it comes to helping the collective. They're not gonna speak about it, but just watch the things that they wear. Okay. And he has his spiritual he has his bracelets on, um, you know to protect his energy but i feel that somebody is in definitely argument and there's a definitely going to be a fight when this person catches this other person in action okay yeah the five of pentacles wow this is that regret abandonment card somebody is supposed to catch their their other half in physical action having sex with somebody else okay or you're going to catch this person kissing that other person. It's going to be something like that. But somebody in that's watching this is going to cross, walk in on somebody else having sex. Okay. And they're going to walk in. They have a key to the house. And they're going to walk in while this person is getting busy with somebody else. Between the sheets. Okay. You have the emperor card. Death. <laughs> So Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius, uh, this is, represents Aries as well as Taurus, okay? So definitely, this person is coming in now wanting to commit to the relationship. This person knows that they were not being your emperor. They were not being faithful. They were not honoring their commitment as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them. Some of y'all, again, this was your husband. This was your wife that did put you in a third-party situation. There was heartache that was involved. Let's say if this person had an addiction as far as a sex addiction. Some of them, let's say if it was not another party involved, it could have been, again, their ego. Um, some of them could have had issues as far as with their mental stability. Um, some of them could have been also had issues with their pride because of the cards that's reversed. Uh, some of them could have had issues as far as when it comes to giving a commitment. They could have been non-committal. Okay, some of them could have been more focused on themselves. Some of them could have also manipulated and said how they wanted to be in a relationship with you, but at the same time was telling other people that too. Okay, but this person is coming in with the, the an offer. They no longer want to play you as a pawn. They no longer want to, you know, um, uh, be the pawn. Um, in, uh, when this card comes out, this is my, you know, person realizing that they have a queen. They have an empress. They have a highest priestess. They have a highest priest. They have an emperor. They don't have a uh, page. They don't have a knight. They don't have a false twin, a false karmic, um, you know, a, any of that, whatever, a, a karmic. They have a real connection, okay? And I feel that in the past, this person was not making you feel that way or they were not, you know, putting in the effort into this relationship the way that they need to. And they were bringing a lot of heartache because, again, this person could have been very indecisive, this person could have been also, again, um, dealing with other people, committed to another relationship. 
You have the devil card, yeah, because they were more in their dark side or more on their toxic behavior. This also represents energy as far as the trap. This card came out in my Scorpio reading, okay? So let's say if they were involved with somebody that was manipulating them um, mentally, verbally, um, sexual-wise, could have been, there could have been some of them that were involved with black magic spell work as far as when it comes to a karmic, and it could have been in the mother of their child, the father of their child as well. Okay, trying to keep this person trapped. This is Capricorn. We have the Seven of Wands. Wow, this card came out too. So this represents energy as far as, again, um, no longer wanting to go towards a certain situation. No longer wanting to put in the time and the energy. Um, you know, distancing yourself so you can take care of yourself. Surrendering. So this is that, you know, okay, I'm getting ready to surrender to this cause. I no longer wanted to be defensive um, to the situation. I no longer want to let my ego, you know, uh, bring uh, the disconnections between the relationship between you and me. Okay, is what I'm hearing between you and this person. So let's keep going. If this person is coming back from your past, what are they going to be re-bringing you? Judgment. So this is necessary karma. Somebody is realizing that they are in a karmic relationship. Somebody is definitely realizing that they are in a karmic relationship. Somebody is definitely realizing that this karmic is screwing around, messing around on them. Some of them going to walk in. Some of them possibly look through the peephole or so, like a window and they see that this person could be having sex with somebody else. I feel that somebody has a key to go into the house and they're going to call, they're going to walk. Man, boy, Royal Rumble, <laughs> I'm just saying, Mortal Comeback, boy. Somebody's supposed to get, bop, 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 bop. And, I, and I, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, so this is judgment. This represents energy as far as more fire, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. So a lot of fire energy being reversed, um, Leo. So a lot of y'all need to make sure that y'all battle y'all, um, battle, Stop battling yourself, especially if you are delaying yourself as far, far as when it comes to your healing any type of childhood wounds or any type of things that are damaging to your heart space. So make sure that you wear, um, you know, make sure that you wear brown. They're telling me to tell, tell you to wear brown stones, reddish, red stones and orange stones. Okay. Green stones and blue stones are the stones that they're telling me to recommend for you, Leos. Okay, so make sure you get some of those. Some of y'all possibly need to go, you know, sit in some grass and meditate, okay, to get your, your chakras back aligned. But there could be definitely an ending to a fire sign. This could be you, Leo, if you are the karmic, because again, I'm not biased, okay? There could be an ending. The death card, wow, Scorpio, definitely ending a relationship with the Scorpio. Ending to something, something no longer getting revived, letting go of one's ego, a death to an ego, Okay, death to somebody's ego. We have the King of Pentacles. So this represents energy as far as Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. So some of y'all could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that was not giving you commitment. They could have had an issue as far as when it comes to their transformation. Some of them could have been involved with toxic things, toxic people. A lot of them could have been manipulating you mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Again, some of them could have been involved in a lot of sexual um, relationships with other people, other men, other feminines. Okay, a lot of y'all were not aware possibly of this person's reckless behavior and you found out about it. And again, that could have brought a tower moment to your environment with this person against a lot of emotional pain that this king of pentacles brought to you okay um they left you feeling abandoned this person left you feeling abandoned because they were not putting a lot of time and energy they were not putting working on y'all's partnership they were not working on your partnership at all this person was not working on the partnership with you and this person at all with you and them at all okay but somebody seems to get caught up somebody definitely got caught and found somebody cheating okay Definitely found somebody cheating. Yeah, definitely found somebody cheating. Five, the Ten of Swords is out here. Backstabbing, betrayal, realizing that they're in a karmic relationship, okay? Um, you have let your friends help you. So some of y'all possibly need to get out of a certain situation. Let's say if there is a fight that's going down, or let's say if they do walk in and they are living with this person and they, you know, share a home together, some of them possibly need to, you better call Tyrone. That just popped into my head. Call him and tell him come get your shit 
So some of them possibly have to help, you know, call a friend or family member um, to help them get out of the situation, especially let's say if there's an ending um, and they do have to get their stuff out of this situation, this karmic's house um, and, you know, to move. So it says ask for and accept support from others. We have new love. Yeah, new situation. Or if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, this person may, went through a major transformation as far as when it comes to letting go of the characteristics that was no longer serving them. And now they're representing themselves in new energy. Some of y'all do have a new opportunity because again, your emperor, your empress was cheating on you. And y'all do have a new opportunity with somebody else that's coming in and wanting to give you a new love offer. Okay. And this could be somebody that was from your past that's resurfacing. Um, So it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have calling in your soulmate. I told you, call calling in the right one. No longer wanting to be with the wrong one. Okay, manifesting each other. Okay, so it says you, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So if this person is in La La Land, going down memory lane, remit, you know, reliving the the memories between how you and this person met, um, you know, the attraction that y'all had. Whatever the case may be, this person is manifesting you, okay? They're manifesting. Some of y'all have been manifesting a new opportunity in love because y'all tired of dealing with the same bullshit. Say what, say what, say what? You know what's up by Darnell Jones, okay? House, I told you, somebody is definitely gonna get ready to move. They have to ask their, their friends and family members to help them move their shit up out this house. Okay, this also represents energy as far as a 24 to 48 hour notice. Somebody could be coming in and wanting to move in with you, moving their stuff out of this karmic house and moving their stuff into your house. Okay, so you have a two here. Twos represents union as well as balance. Concern, I told you. Man, somebody's supposed to walk in on their woman doing the do. Or their man doing the do in their home. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Cisco ass and um uh the Isley brothers and R. Kelly and all that shit, okay? Um 33. You have a three. Threes represents your 3D body now connecting with your 5D spirit, your 5D soul. You have applications. So some I told you some of y'all are gonna be changing situations as far as when it comes to your job. Um again, again, if this is a career, make sure that you're planting those necessary seeds in order to get to a full harvest. You have a 34 here. A seven sevens represents mystery, DNA activation, seeing signs, synchronicities as well. Entangled, entangled in some fucking bullshit. Entangled in some bullshit. Karmic cheated on them. <laughs> now they feel it real. The shoe is on the other foot. You have another a 13 here, which is a four fours represents uh, gaining stability, taking back control of your life. Heartbeat, heartbeat. Some of y'all, they, yeah, they got the karmic did them dirty 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 okay some of y'all again this person had to overcome and heal their heart chakra or you needed to heal your heart chakra leos from past trauma uh heartache pain so you have a 49 here a 13 another four so four four could be very significant you know what i need Pisces. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that has Pisces in their chart. Make sure you watch the Pisces reading for the end of May, both June readings as well. This represents moon energy. So again, a lot of truth, things that were hidden in the dark coming to surface. We have Jupiter. So make sure you watch what uh, Zodiac placement is in your Jupiter. 18, we have a nine. Nines represents moving on, okay? Moving on. This also represents new beginnings, okay? The world card, new beginnings. We have meditation to dig deeper. So I told you, meditating. Meditate to get those synchronicities, those signs, everything that you need, okay, Leos? Make sure you do that. We have plant the seeds. Wow, this person feels like they already planted their seeds with you. Some of them are also gonna get you pregnant and knocked up. Okay, some of them want to get you pregnant and you have their baby, their kiddo. We have vulture spirit. So no, no, nothing is wasted. No time is wasted. This also represents energy as far as, you know, one, is, you know, vultures, family and friends, people that don't have their best interest at heart, um, you know, coming around in their business, you know, removing yourself from, you know, the, the, the sheep, the hidden wolves in sheep clothing. If you have a 63 here. Okay, um,
Okay, we have a 63 here. And then we have Nightingale Spirit. So love is all around. So again, Otter Spirit. Love is all around. That energy between you and your masculine feminine never changes. We have a 41 here, which is a 5. 5 represents conflicts that brings change. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day. Yeah, <laughs> baby.